finally they ask, uh, and how, who, how many do you have in your crew? Do you have a ship of your own? Do you work for any government or uh, uh, company? Uh, currently, I'm working under my own name. I'm trying to make it so my father, the uh, uh, the elder of the Ilsfield name, they, I'm trying to show him that I can make it on my own and come back with success. So at the moment, I'm currently not working for anyone other than myself. And you asked how many are on my crew? Indeed. There are five people on board my crew. Very well. Uh, Leech, what do you answer? He says, uh, including myself, we have five uh, humans on board and no aliens. Okay. So, yeah, after a few, you know, random questions, they let you guys go. And they say that they will have results to you the next day. I stay on Gunhild for this night instead of going back up to the ship. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they whatever lifestyle you want to accommodate yourself in uh, at half because you're only you know going through a night not a whole day do you know where in the book that is or what its name is so i can search it is it lifestyle services page 45 44 oh yeah i got it cool Oh, I'll pay, I'll pay for uh, Peerless. Okay. Because it's only for one half a day, so it's only 500 mm -hmm. Uh, How much money did we actually end up spending for the uh, the items, or did we not actually divide it up correctly 40, between everyone yet? 46000 each. If we add all the FEP costs together and then divide by three. Okay, 46000 Yeah, two of them are double the price. Okay. Any anything else you guys want to do? The rest of the crew. I mean, who took you down? By the way, was was it Raylan or was the was it the kid? Uh, whoever was wanting to, in my opinion. I mean, Raylan would probably want to set up his workshop as fast as possible. Mm hmm So I guess it would be Elliot. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys tell Elliot to go back to the ship, or...? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. He doesn't need to stay on board the planet. He says 500 for Peerless staying for half a day. Mm hmm I'll, I'll do that as well, then. Unless, we, unless we're staying in the same room. Oh, no. No, my friend. You basically have your own super penthouse suite with everything, like, amazing food. And it basically, the place you're in could remind you of Cardites, except there it isn't as cold. Slightly less homeless. And as homely. Right. So, uh, Elliot, do you go back up to the ship, as told? Do you rebel against the machine and visit Gunhill and stay there? What, what is the rest of the crew doing? Oh no, Elliot's still training, never mind. So, it would leave Raylan and Mapachin to do anything. Yeah, like, Raylan is just setting up the workshop. 
Mm-hmm. Mapachin might watch or or help or at least see what see what he's doing. Okay. Yeah, Natasha, you know, hearing the clanking and, you know, all the noise, she would come up to you and see what you're doing. She's like, what is it that you're doing, Raylan? I'm, I'm building a workshop. Very well. What kind of workshop? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make stuff. Invent. Tinker. Oh, I see. Yeah, you want help? I'm actually busy. Oh. Ben! And... Yeah. And she... <laughs> she's she's <laughs> lying very badly, but, you know, it's clear she doesn't want to be there. Uh, I don't, sort of I don't think Raylan, like, knows this. Shit. Like, he just keeps on working. Like, okay. okay. around she you know gives a look around and says uh keep going you know we're doing a good job i think yeah this is awesome right yes sure wow <laughs> notice the sarcasm no he just keeps going Mapachi okay. marvels at artificial intelligence mastering sarcasm Do you give her a funny look? Yeah, Mapachin wonders what the hell is up with Natasha, but isn't going to press it. Yeah, she looks at you, looking at her a bit weirdly, and is there something on my face? You could say <laughs> that. To her, it's like a child playing with like blocks, trying to put a square peg into a round hole, right? <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what's going on. Uh... To her, it's just, you know, something that's curious and new happening in the ship. So she wanted to find out what oh, all okay. this about. Okay. Okay, so She's not like we... a simple human. No. <laughs> no. No. So do we get done by this day, or...? You'll be done by the time the, the, the guys arrive. Okay. So like after we're done, I I just hand my machine like a glass and just pours the finest like booze I have. The finest like, for, swill. Yeah, and it's like thanks for the help. You know? Cool. The finest Caborian moonshine. Yeah, it's still fucking disgusting. But, Puts hair yeah. in your milk, chest. right? Yeah. Scaborian milk. Insect milk. How do you milk a Scaborian? Milk Grab them, milk second human. large you, you, toe. You don't want to know. Toe milk? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't milk humans, so... No, it, it's like <laughs> cows, but like, yeah. Oh, not re not really like cows, you know. A finger up the butt. No. Would it be like the nerf from Star Wars? It's blue milk. Maybe, milk. yeah. You're a filthy nerf herder, Raylan. <laughs> No, Raiden wouldn't have dealt with those. Okay, so next day comes around. You guys wake up. The Leech and Malward wake up in the laps of luxury. Uh, the bed guys... is massaging me while I sleep. Who? The bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A nice German girl is massaging Leech while he sleeps. Is the bed on AI? <laughs> uh, it has like a simple program, running. like a th a millions and millions of th fingers that just constantly like gyrate. Yep, and Leech has her his own. The bed like... is like people holding yeah. up with their hands. <laughs> yes, uh, it's a membrane held over a space where people go under and just wiggle their fingers against. It's like crowd surfing. Yes. And Leech has a nice German girl massaging him. It's cool. Her name What's is her Gertha. Name? Gertha. <laughs> and she Gertrude. wants to be a model. Did you 
you tell her if you do some horrific things, you'll get her that modelling career she always wanted. <laughs> no, I just Leech. enjoy my massage. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I had to laugh there for a minute. Sorry. It could be less funny. Uh, so, yeah. The next morning comes up. And you guys are called in. I go in with Leech protecting me. You're kicking the Very door well golden. rested. Yeah, you see the same Max standing outside the building, uh, and Mr. Mina is uh, outside. You see three of the Valkyries are standing on guard behind them, and besides them are two uh, smallish crates, and he has this beaming smile on his face. Ah, the the new models. He says, yes, indeed, these were um, manufactured this month, actually. Brand new. Very nice. Do you know how long it takes to manufacture one of these? I've heard it's a really long time. He's sizing like, whoa. <sighs> uh, I don't have the specifics on it, honestly. Um, I would say about a month, two of them, depending on the demands of the hike. Yes, the war machine must roll on. Oh no, we are not waging war, uh, Mr. Isfield. They just conquer a planet. They did, well, they finished it last year. No, that's true. A war is when two armies are fighting. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. When one just takes a planet, that's... I don't know what they call that. <laughs> they basically, you know, conquered the boss from its, you know, previous ruling. They were a corrupt council. government. Everyone knows that. Well, tall tales say that it was basically a dictatorship, much like the Protectorates. Basically, it's just like America... Going in and removing the uh, dictators all around the world. And then, and, then, and then putting their own in place. Yeah, of course. All right, yeah. If you call Gunhild's uh, government a, di a dictatorship. The Kulder Reich is just natural to be like, yeah, they're evil. Reich means empire in it's German. Still, yeah, yeah. It still just comes across of, as evil. Okay. Yeah, you know, you go Hitler one time and just ruin it. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one time and your culture is... <laughs> Stained forever. Yeah. Or space your okay. So, thank you. Uh, do we have to set them up for anything specifically, or should we just put them on now? Or would you prefer that we only wear them once we get off your planet? Law dictates that you should not wear them on the planet, so I would advise you to not wear them on the planet. Do you mind if we sword. test them real quick? He looks behind him, um, and you know, one of the Valkyries nods at him, and he says, uh, "Sure." So I, I put it on real quick, turn it on, and then ask the Valkyrie to shoot at me with like a small arms, like a, if it has a TL three sidearm or something. She only has a mag pistol, and but she doesn't say that. You just see that on her hip. Uh oh. Well, if I can tell that the like it's humming or something, then I'm happy. You hear a slight hum, yes. I pick up a stone and throw it at him. Roll to hit. I guess. What is it? Is it like small arm? Like combat? No, you would be at a minus one. So what am I a rolling zero. here? Yeah. Roll with a zero, plus dexterity, plus his AC. Well, my dex is 12. Zero. Yeah. His AC is... With this thing on, negative one. So... 
Minus two is what my roll is? No, minus one. Just minus one. Uh, it's a d20 minus one, Bill. It's not a skill roll, it's a combat roll. Oh, sorry. Nine. Yeah, it bounces off his force field. Sweet. There we go. It seems to work perfectly. Yeah. He, the the man, you know, he claps his hand once and says, "Good, good." Uh, so now, please do take them off. Yeah, I put it back in the box and we fuck off. Off we fuck. <laughs> so yeah, by the time you're done, uh, Elliot is done with training. And I guess you guys go back up to the Sword of Democles. I feel sad that it isn't the lap of luxury and, and think to myself, how can I possibly make this place so much nicer for me to live in? Some blonde German girls would help. Oh yes, I'll pick up some blonde German girls. Decorative pillows everywhere. <laughs> Decorative German girls <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> With lots of pillows. Decorative to rest pillows. Upon. <laughs> Because With little tassels I have gross on eyes and penis. Yes. <laughs> Picked up a little of the native tongue. You can show me your native tongue. Um. Once everyone gets back on uh, the ship, <laughs> I guess I say. So, after me, my uh, training, I feel that. Once we get down to a planet, we could do with something that could get us around a bit faster. So. Uh, either get a grav... Yeah, a grav flyer or a grav car. That would be incredibly efficient. How much are they? I just spent all my money on uh, this thing. Here, check it out. Twenty thousand for a grav car, forty thousand for a grav flyer. Have we ever encountered a situation where one of those would have come in handy? Because I think when we've we been to... getting around fine. When we had to walk ten clicks into a city. And ten clicks out. Just yeah, because we wanted to. We, can... we wanted to be not noticed. This is something we can look into for the future. At the moment, unless you have any spare money lying around, we uh, don't have 15, that kind of expense. I think we're fifteen k towards it for the graf car or graf lawyer. Ask the rest of the crew. I am currently spent. How are we? Yeah, I just spent. We just spent forty six thousand apiece on these force fields. Natasha asks, why would you need a, a grav car, Elliot? So once we get down onto a planet where we need to get somewhere like without using the lander, which is possible, we could use the grav car. Couldn't you, couldn't you hire? Just rent one? On yeah. the planet? We just hire one. He's talking about in situations where we need to be stealthy down to a barren planet where there's not much we need to get to a place yeah like taking random land... places yeah. yeah taking the lander in is too risky because you know they might have something that can deal with that then we taking the grav car Same no like an, an armored grav car or even like an armored VTOL that was a little more stealthy would be sweet but we just don't have the money right now She tells you, I thought you wanted a mech. Fuck mechs. Oh, that's too expensive. Huh. No, I mean, we'll get mechs eventually. They're just, like he said, they're very expensive. Yeah. I think after another. Plus, you can mount, uh, you can mount heavy weapons on a vehicle. Yeah. Weapons and we can't necessarily carry. Then once we get enough, we could end up getting the grav tank, which, uh... Can't be damaged by uh, anything. Then, like, that requires a combat gunner reroll. Yeah, mechs can't be damaged by anything except for gunnery, or bigger as well. 
Although there are some gunnery things that are man portable, the rockets, heavy mm -hmm. machine gun. These uh, force fields we have are immune to tech level 3 and lower small arms fire as well. All right. That includes grenades, which is pretty cool. Yeah, just remember to keep it fed with batteries. Yeah, I keep six type A power cells on me. I have cool. a few double A's. So we should save up 30,000, by the way, and then we should grab a grav car with a anti-vehicle laser on it. We'll look into that in the future. At the moment, with pretty small time, and That's we've right. got a lot of time to do things. So, should we try and pick up a job for delivery of something from this planet to somewhere, or what's everyone fancy doing? Something interesting, not just a bone dry run. Um, yeah, we need to make some money to pay for this month's expenses. Indeed, yes. What do you look for? Do you look for stuff on Gun Hill? What is it that you guys want to do? Does anyone know anyone on Gun Hill? Mm -hmm. That might still have a job for us? Mapachin or someone? I just spoke to her days ago. I mean, she said that she'd She'd call if she had any yes. jobs or something. Yeah, comes and up. so far she hasn't, so... So there you go. Oh, if it's going to take us a couple of days to get a job, I, will, I want to find like a part-time job as working as a mechanic in like one of the docks. Okay, calm down, sport. Then if it's going to take us a couple of days, that's what I do. I think we're probably going to get another out of planet. planet. Wait, we're gonna go away from Gunhild. Gunhild is probably the best place to get a job, isn't it? Okay, well, I'd, I'd like the to hub. do something legal, just transporting something to another planet right now. Just because we've just bought these things and they're probably watching us a little bit while we're here. Yeah, we need to look legit. Go down to the planet and look for people then. Not get caught working without a work visa or whatever you're trying to do. The illegal immigrant taking our jobs. <laughs> I mean, this is a trade center. Uh, people probably want things delivered somewhere else. We have cargo space. So basically, you would advertise yourselves. Yeah, and see if there's anyone else advertising that they're looking for someone to transport something. Okay. Once we're out of here, we can start be picking up heavy drugs and things like that. What are the worlds that have a chance to contain Lost Pre-Tech? Is it Tomb Worlds? It is said that Tomb Worlds do have the most, the highest collection of Pre-Tech artifacts, yes. We could make a trip to... Which one is it? There's a few Tomb Worlds. But Thapus is a Alien Ruins Tomb World. With breathable air and a temperate climate. We're ready to take out, go on to the tomb build. Like, probably full of dangers, isn't it? Oh, we have force fields now. You guys have force fields. Indiana Jones. No, stay behind us. If a grenade is thrown in front of us, one of us will jump on it. Yeah, there you go. One, no, two, three, no. not it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll crouch in front of it. I don't want to risk putting the field in a weird spot. Somehow there's, there's like a big troll that just throws himself on it. Yes. Yeah. From nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Out of nowhere, a troll comes out of the dark and throws himself in front of the I got it. grenade. For some yes. reason he's on fire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a crossover. Yeah. People want to go towards which planet, sorry? 
well, Thappus, just throwing it out there, like if we couldn't find work, Thappus is a planet with alien ruins. I presume Leech has access to like a sector map equivalent to what we have in the handouts. The sector map you have is basically what you have. All right, yeah, so you point out that uh, Thappus isn't that far away, and the atmosphere is breathable, the climate is temperate, um, and it has alien ruins and is a tomb world. Well, I believe we ran out of fuel when we got here, so uh, let's split the fuel uh, six ways, and then uh, see if anyone wants anything delivered to swear on. Or Thappus itself. What is a tomb world? What does that mean? Like, nobody lives there or something? Actually, millions of people live there, so I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, tomb worlds, what is said about them is that they have uh, the remnants of uh, pre-screen civilization. Like, underground ruins and, you know... Uh, unexplored uh, ships, or unexplored buildings, unexplored sections of uh, cities and such. Basically Necrons. Not Necrons. Worse. Necron Would we be better off going to a tomb world that had a lower population from a finding shit point of view? Probably, because there's less people looking for stuff in there. Maybe yeah. even even in... what is Where is it that you guys want to go? Thappus. Maybe in Thappus there's like a place that people don't want to go because they believe it's cursed. Oh, does that apply to all the planets in the entire system, essentially? What do you mean? The system describer or whatever for Thappus... That's not just for, like, one planet. That's for however many planets are in the system of Thappus. Would they all be alien tomb worlds? Uh, no. Thappus is the only planet that's inhabited in oh, that okay. system. The so there might be, like, a like... continent or something that was that's not Maybe, gone to. yeah. It could be, like, a whole continent that people don't go to because maybe there's pretext stuff they're still defending. Or still active. Right above Thappus, next to Gunhild. 604. Okay. So, the important question Can I make a fedora and a whip in my workshop? <laughs> Roll science. <laughs> oh, that's science where we should go. Whip? We should go to Fromia. It's closer, it's got a lower population, and it's a tomb world. It's intelligence, right? Yes. What is altered humanity? You get a fedora and a whip. Oh yeah. Um, altered humanity it means that the population from that planet is altered somewhat to adapt, maybe to adapt to the planet in a way to you know, they did a lot of gene therapy, and now they are adapted to the planet's uh, rough conditions. Okay. Maybe they that actually makes sense because the population's only in the tens of thousands. Yeah, so maybe they... there must have been a population bottleneck from like an extreme climate thing. Yes, or they, you know, they found an alien race that you know could breed with the humans. Now you have the bi the bastard childs, like the space Italians. They are the bastard childs of humans <laughs> and an alien Italian. race. Well, you call them that, so might as well go with the <laughs> yeah. Roll with the punches, as they say. The Aryans. Orions. <laughs> Orions. <laughs> the lead is called Mussolini. Yeah. Well, yeah, I wouldn't mind going to Fromia. Okay, let's look for some work in the direction of Fromia. Okay, so if you guys put yourselves out as looking for work, you will find something in two days. 
And in the meantime, I go work as an engineer in like export. Okay. I try to come up with a blueprint for my hologram. Okay, you're going to roll science a few times. Okay. Is this sector like the EU? You can just go from one to another without worries, or is it more like uh... everywhere else? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean, like going from system like if, to system? Yeah, like if you live on Nereides, can you just fly to Gunhill, then get rent an apartment and start working, or do you have to like immigrate? You would have to immigrate. It depends on the planet, actually. Some planets are fine with it, because maybe their population is so low that they need the, the workforce. Or, you know, other places, like Gun Hill, require you to immigrate and legalize yourself. So he's going to be, like, illegal, because he's working without a visa. I, technically, like, in my backstory, I came to Gun Hill to get a job, so I guess I would have went through all of those channels. Yeah, you, but... you, you already went through that. Yeah. Okay, Leech actually, like, stops you and asks you to, like, like do you have a work visa? Because we can't be seen, you know, breaking any laws here. Uh, I guess, like, how long have I been part of this crew? Ariel. I don't know, how many months has it been of traveling around? Oh, I don't keep track of that. Two months. Alright, then I said, yeah, I pull out when I... just flying around. No, a month and a half. Uh, I guess I'd pull out when I say, yeah, I got this about two months ago. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, we're just trying to keep a low profile. Have All fun right. working on the planet. <laughs> So can I find a job? Like, go on patrol. Uh, you would be working on the space station orbiting Gunhill, one yeah. of the space stations orbiting Gunhill. Uh, roll tech astronautic. With intelligence. Yeah. Okay, you do well, not amazingly so. Uh, for two days of work, you get 500 cool. credits. Thank you. So should I roll anymore? Or? Uh, not today. Okay. Well, if you guys wait the two days, then yes, roll two more times. What are you trying to make? Okay, you are getting close to what you want. Ah. I'm, I'm trying to make back. a hologram decoy. You are getting very close to what you want. You, yeah, feel, image. That, you feel that, you know, yeah. if you push, like, one, two more days, you will get it done. You get the blueprint. Just, just there. Yeah. Okay, so you guys... Put yourselves out looking for work and the ship is contacted by a man named Bessel. No, not Bessel. Charles. Charles Gray. I uh, call him on whatever details he's given me and say, mm -hmm. Hello, Charles. What's, what's the job, friend? He, he's a very well-dressed man, and he says, first, it is Mr. Gray. Yes, Mr. Gray. Thank you. And you are the captain oh, of the Sword of Damocles, I believe. Yes, yes, the captain. Mr. Isfield, good. I am looking for uh, transportation, not for myself, for materials uh, that I have. From Gunhild to Brilia. A short enough trip, I believe. But one that uh, should reward you, of course. I, I thought I thought we were saying that uh, we were putting out feelers for looking for jobs to Promia. Promia. 
Is that not where everyone else said? I don't yeah. think we were looking for jobs there, were we? We were just talking about going yeah, there. Yeah, you were just talking about going there by ourselves. Oh, okay. Or just save okay. us gas, I guess. I was just meaning if, if we're killing two birds at one stone is what I, I thought we were doing. But, I mean, if, if we are going to go there, then... Okay. Please, 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 continue. Very well. The materials I need delivered... Uh... Well, the sooner you do it, the better, of course. The nature of it is mostly technical uh, materials, computers, processors, that kind of thing. Do you need them handled uh, as delicately as possible? Or? Yes, this is very sensitive material that the yes, client like has ordered. Yes. It isn't. It is completely legal to take off planet. It's, uh, it's a yes. high tech level planet. My company has made these parts. My company has signed all the legal documentation. I don't think this is anywhere close to illegal, Mister Isfield. Good, good. I'd like to see all the documentation because I'm above board with everything I do as well. So much bullshit. Yeah, he he sends you the legal documentation, pages and pages of it. Can I can I see it, Ariel? Can you print it out for me right now? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, no, it is all above board. Or do I need to roll some form of perception that it's all above board? Do you have business? No, someone else does. I hand my paper over to I believe it's Raylan that uh, knows business. No. Leech has business. Leech has business. Here you go, Leech. Tell me what you can make of this mumbo jumbo. Yep. Um, it will be business with intelligence. Looks good. Thumbs up. Excellent, excellent. It seems like everything is in order. I've had my uh, manservant look over the details. Raise an eyebrow. <laughs> oh, don't worry, <laughs> Leech. I just say that for terms of making us look like we're better, better class of people. He says, uh, good to know. Good to know, Mr. Isfield. Uh, is there any other question you have about this merchandise? Uh, where, where will it be delivered to on planet? Uh, the I blocked that. The parts will be delivered to a man named James Turner. Is there a time-sensitive matter on this? No, but the sooner you do this, the better. And the the payment. Final de details, after after all, you know. Uh, I believe that for this kind of merchandise. I was thinking about uh, 50,000 credits. Should be more than enough to go to Prelia and back and cover your fuel and everything. I understand, I understand. As you said, this is very delicate things and we have to spend a lot of time taking the parts on board the ship in a, as careful manner as possible and making sure there's no damages during the delivery. Um... Uh, these these prices, they can sometimes they can be a, a little bit troublesome for finding the people to look after these items carefully enough. Would you at all think about uh, raising the amount? He says fifty thousand credits seems more than enough. I believe these parts are sensitive, and I am paying you premium for careful handling and delivery. Okay, well, if I'm not allowed to outside of game roll a price to try and force him to give me more money, then yes, thank you. Fifty thousand will be a fine. Will you can roll right persuade. Now, or... <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I, just... I thought you would have said like you that. Yeah, that's fine. Roll persuade. But I mean, if, if I'm allowed to do that, then yeah. Uh, right. My persuade is now a one. Uh, what's my other one that I'm going for? Char char Charisma. Charisma, and I'm 14 on that, so I get, what, a plus one again? 
Yes. So I just just plus two to um thingy. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, your argument sounds solid enough. He said, he, you know, thinks to himself and says, um, I could probably raise it by another 15,000 15, if you make sure that the merchandise is properly handled. Yes, of course, of course. We will have the finest crew delivering it in the most pristine you have ever seen. Just checking, I do know there's no, like, hellish stuff that's going on around Prillia that um, might actually damage the things. Not really. Um, the New Truth movement is from there. Okay. And uh, the people that they're being delivered to, we don't know if they're anything to do with the New Truth movement? Not really, unless you have Culture Prillia. Does anyone randomly have Culture Prillia? <laughs> I have all the cultures. Do you? Of every single you? planet in this game. It's called Hacks. Huh? Hacks. The Hacksaw. No, I don't. I don't have it. Okay, okay, right. I thought you actually did for a second then. Uh, so. Would, like, uh, Spacer or Traveler or anything else apply? Would I, to would get I be a, able to... like, an, a random name... To associate a name with a cult? Eh, not really. Right. Would I just be able to speak to uh, Mr. Gray and say, just checking, we, we know that on Trillia they uh, they have a little bit of a religious thing going on. Yes, uh, it is a religious planet. Yes, not, nothing wrong with religion. Uh, are the, the people that these uh, items are for, are they involved heavily with this religion? He shrugs and says, I do not know. They are clients. I did not inquire them about it. Okay, it, it seems fair. Uh, well, we'll gratefully take the money and uh, deliver your parts for you. Is it going to be all all at the start or at the delivery of payment? Or I have arranged with uh, Mr. James to the to give to give you half of the original payment. There, I will give you half now and the extra. Uh, Along with the extra. Thank you very much, Mr. Gray. So, yep, yeah, you guys land. Um, it was 50, 5 0 total. The original at the start, the original 50. was 50. So, yeah, um, 25 and 40. You're going to get 40,000 now and 25,000 when you get to Brilia. So let's split that actually six ways, yeah. How much did we get? Has the... Right, right now, now? Nothing. Yeah, right. Calm oh, down. Okay. okay. No, I'm sorry. I thought I missed something. Like, we're getting it now and then the rest when, when the job is complete or something. That's what I thought you just you're said. Getting, you're getting half of the original now plus the 15k. So when you load the things up. Oh, which right. is happening right now. And, you know, okay. Mr. Gray okay. is there with you. You know, he's inspecting the loading crew. Oh, you can have us roll, eye. like, like agility or something, Ariel. What? You're going to have us roll agility or something to make sure we're actually doing it carefully. <laughs> no. Good, good. No, it's like he brought his own loading crew. Oh, right, okay, okay. I believe it's like fine. you, Leech, and Mappachin down there along with Braylon. Mm-hmm. Doing the business, you know, the loading up. Raylan has like six strength, doesn't he? Yeah. Raylan, yeah. none of you are loading things up. Yeah, I'm just uh, with, you know, my feet up on the, you know, console of the ship or something. Yeah, Mr. Ray brought his own yeah. loading crew. Okay. You know, he's, you know, they're jotting out the details, Albert and uh, Mr. Gray. And once the loading is done, Mr. Gray walks into the lander, inspects everything, walks out, and then gives you guys the 40,000 credits. Thank you very much for doing business with you, Mr. Gray. It's a pleasure to deal with fine, upstanding gentlemen such as yourself. 
Likewise, Mr. Isfield. Likewise. Good, good. Okay, so... Are we just going to take off and leave? Can we fuel up? Yes, I thought we fueled. We, well, you already said did. We did like right, yeah. Okay, did we get a 50% discount on that, or was it the full price? No, you're in Dunhill. You only get the 50% off in the radies, and that's if you keep up the monthly payments. We will. Um, can we also, like, refuel the oxygen, like, life support? It's not super low, but... I think it's like at one third or less. I don't know what the maximum capacity is, but I think it's like a third or less. And just since we're here, how much does that cost? I don't know. We've never done it. It's twenty per unit. What's our maximum capacity? Calculating that, you have uh. A, mass, a maximum capacity of 24 people in the... No, you have a maximum capacity of 12 people in the ship. But your extended life supports, duplic you know, they duplicate it to 24. And you have two months per person. Basically, you have like four months per person. So if you're saying we're a third, just how 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 many numbers of days is a third? Well, I mean, like, when we started, we probably had something like... How many units like do we have right now? Something? We are down to about 200. What's our max units? I, I'm, I don't have the max units, but I'm guessing it's something like 800. It's a but... lot. I don't even know if that because uh, in the rules it it is like each person has one month, uh, two months of life support, like sixty days. Yeah, sixty sixty days. So like twelve times sixty. But your life support is extended because you bought the extended life support thingy, and that duplic duplicates that amount. Okay, so two months per person, that's like the that's the non-duplicated value, so it's really like four months per person. Uh, yeah, so you have 12 time... Uh, no, you have... You have 12 times well, 60 like times and... 2. Yeah. Well, then I think we probably started it at half capacity then, the way it looks. Is that how many units we have? In total, yes. So we have 1,440 units? Mm hmm In yeah. total. But that goes down five per day. Then then I think it was we probably started off at the wrong number. So just I add, believe we did. Yes. Add like 600 or whatever it was to it then. How many units did you get? Work out? Oh no, it's one month. One month max per crew, sorry. Okay, not two. So, so yeah. it is 720 units is her maximum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and we're down to like it 202. Was, it was the correct number before. Okay. So how many do we need to fill up then to be full? What are we, we at right down now? To? 200? I, I, by my calculations, 202. But I haven't been doing like fiddly bits like who was down on the planet that night, therefore oh, not yeah, uh, no. the ship. I'm like, it's stuff. five every day. <laughs> Yeah. So we could fill up another 500 or so. Yeah. You have, if you wanted to. That'd be two grand a piece. Yeah. If you are at 202, you have 518. So if everybody, up. if everybody pays 2,000, we're full. We'll just take it out of like the 40,000 that we were just given, so it doesn't have to come out of your personal money. So to, we haven't divided that 40k yeah. yet. To fill up the 518. It costs ten thousand three hundred and sixty credits. Yeah, we pay that out of the forty, and then split the forty six ways. I'll just make it ten thousand even. Okay. So then we 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 like bought five hundred units, and we each get six grand. Okay. Well, the fuel came out of that too, so. Oh, we already paid the fuel. 
from our individual shits? Yeah. yeah. Okay, when I Harry didn't... wrote 133 on the screen, that's I what we should I must have been that. sleeping when that happened. <laughs> it's okay. How much for everyone from the rest? Six? Yep, 6,000 each. What, what planet are we on? Gunhild. Gunhild. Alright. Okay. You're about to move out to Brilia. Alright. I'll just say to the crew, whenever we can get come back to Gunhild, that would be swell. I got business okay. here. Okay. I understand. What sort of what? business? Yeah, Natasha was about to ask the same thing. Oh, business. Uh, I want to buy a car. Boys and their toys. Yeah. I thought you were. I thought you were saving for a mech. Now it's a car. Come on, man. You need some. Yeah, but a mech. <laughs> a mech is like a, a, very, a lot more expensive than a graph car. Oh, you're saving up the money yourself, not trying to get a loan this time? Yep. Okay, so okay. that location. Uh, so, takes you two days to get to the edge of Gunhild. So it is the 18th. Uh, and navigation, yes. yes Depending so on be... how fast you want to go. Oh, we're going fast. fast, okay. Super fast, or fast, or normal. So we get a minus one for jumping two, right? You get a minus one for jumping two, and that's it. And you can turn our drive two into a drive four, right? Yeah. So is that just a flat then, or...? It's a plus one. We oh, okay. already discussed that last week. I... I don't remember that shit. Okay. Yeah, well, well I kind of did, but yeah. You don't just... put the plus one when it asks you, you for the bonus. You said it was plus one. I just... Because I think you used the skill roll instead of the macro in the character sheet. It's, it's easier to use the macro. Yeah, then you don't put the plus one. You just leave it as is. Not yeah, whatever, nine. Either way. It, it's a pass. So it takes you three days to get to Prilia. Alright, can I roll some more science stuff? Or do I need to be at the controls at all times? No, no, you basically set the coordinates, you yeah, do all yeah. the calculations, and then the ship flies by itself. Okay. You just need to be there, you know, to take it out of metaspace. Yeah. But yeah, you can roll again. Okay, um, after a day of working around, uh, you have a blueprint for a hollow projector decoy oh, thingy. Yeah. So, deduct uh, 15 from the life support quartermaster. What happened? Did we go? You got to Brilliant. Okay, in three so, days. Yes, in three days.